taking his time. A kick by Romero. Now, I like what Pitbull's doing here. He's crowding Romero, not letting it back to his feet. Going for the toe hold now. Toe hold ankle lock. Well, that is tight. Rolling hard for it. Romero's in trouble. Out of this. Trying to spin out of this is Will Romero. Patricio Pitbull, Freddie looking for the quick finish in his Bellator debut. Transitioning to the heel hook. You see, he has that left leg of uh, Romero strapped, going for the heel hook. Looking back at it, he's turning that leg hard. Cranking on in his Pitbull. Now, this is a dangerous move. If you don't tap it, you tear the entire knee. Very difficult to get out of this one. Romero, no panic in his face. Looks calm. Switching to the inverted heel hook now. This is even more dangerous. There's the tap, and that's it. Just like that game set, Max Pitbull for it. Beautiful, technical, outstanding job by Patricio Pitbull. But once he does it, he transitions to the other side. When it goes for the same move, and as he switches, goes to the other side again. There's always something there, and once again, he's underneath the heel. That's why we call it a heel hook. As soon as he got that, nothing to do but tap. I'd like to... Big right. overhand right miss there by Karahani. Good left hook. That's Side big. kick. You noticed at the end of your fight, Joe, when he was in desperation mode, Karahanian let it all hang out, but it leaves him vulnerable. You see Pat Patricio still picking a good left hand. Now look at the finish of Patricio Pitbull. The end could be near. And that is it. Karahanian kept coming. It's a left hook Jeez. right on the chin that dropped him. And Patricio, outstanding finishing instincts all over Karahanian. Lefts and rights, and that right hand up, he could not protect himself. I think that's a good stoppage, Joe. Well, he's, a, he's the better fighter tonight. I think his hands are a little crisper like we talked. He's more methodical, body attacks, double legs, made sure he won the rounds, and then put it away in the third. Yeah, well, you know, it's one of those things where he was ahead, but he didn't leave it to the judges. Yeah. He put a mark on this fight and said, hey, this is not going the distance. Another good combination by Pitbull. Straight right hand, hand. He's back. He's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Patricio Pitbull making the finish. Wilson. 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 There we go. But Pitbull still has a lot of respect for Wilson Hayes' is grappling, but now he's teeing off. Hayes is in big trouble. The is in. It. That is it. Patricio Pitbull with the third round TKO is through to the final. Right, left. Man, everything hitting right on the button, that left hand on the chin. That was the beginning of the end. So accurate, right on the jaw. No one can take those. At Jimmy Smith MMA, at Sean Wheelock. Pitbull usually very aggressive from the outset in fights. He's taking his time here. Oh, good left hand. He's out of hand. That is it. A lightning strike win for Patricio Pitbull. He is through to the final four. It was a short left hand. Look at this. Bang. Left hand right under the ear. Short left hook. Man, sort of a check left hook. Moving backward. For it just at the right time. The Bellator app now, it's free. Score our fights in real time as your fourth judge. Good right hand, that hurt him. Oh, that Big really right hand for Pitbull, now pouncing. That was on the forehead, it still rocked it. And Pitbull, very heavy handed. Wilcox in trouble again. As we're all over taking a close look at these strikes. Relentless is Patricio Pitbull. He's now taking finish in round one. Wilcox still trying to move, and now he's flat. That's a hand on Xbox One. That jab one-two combination. That rocked Wilcox happened throughout the fight. Every time he landed these straight shots, Wilcox would go down. That last sequence, Pitbull swarmed him, put pressure on him, wouldn't let him off the hook. And when he flattened out, when he physically flattened out on the mat, that's when the referee had seen enough.
You see here, look at the, the posture, the physical posture of Wilcox. He's totally flat, no way out, good stoppage by the referee. Strauss has to be careful here. If he commits the Kimura, Pitbull can step over an armbar. You see, that's what Strauss is doing, looking for the Kimura, has the figure four. And you don't get it without guard. You're putting yourself in trouble like this. Pitbull now looking to finish with the rear naked choke. He's got it. Carsey taking a really close look. This is tight. I can't see how deep it is from here. Pitbull locking it on. 14 seconds, 13 remaining in the row. He got it. There is the tap. And the successful title defense for Patricio Pitbull. Strauss was doing everything right throughout that entire fight, but made the tactical mistake of giving up his back yet again, and it cost him. Still, Bellator featherweight world champion, Patricio Pitbull. Clearly stepped in after the bell to indicate round one, but again, Feinschel, he couldn't hear the bell just like we couldn't hear it. He thought he won the fight. That Pitbull did not have his legs under him at the start of this round. He's got to take time to clear his head. Great replay from our outstanding crew. You heard the bell clearly. I think that was a good non-call by John McCarthy. Absolutely. But Faisal trying to make the most of it. Landing with, oh my god! Time encountered! And a lightning strike come from behind win for Patricio Pitbull. He retains the world title just like that. Another spectacular comeback for Pitbull, this time on the feet. I am stunned. I do not believe it. Everything going Daniel Weissel's way. Pitbull turns off his lights with one shot. Nothing to say about that, but beautiful execution by Pitbull. That was more effective. The Pitbull one moving forward. Direction is not Cage General shit. No, it is not. Yes, it's a very powerful guillotine. And there it is. Hanging on for Sam Lifer, and it's done. Patricio Pitbull finds a way. Space, he was on the bottom. Look at the, the foot change here. He goes to open guard, his feet go to the hip, and he presses off. And that's when Pitbull got his head. Arm in guillotine makes no difference. He is incredibly strong. Look at all the torque he's putting on that. There's the tap from Corrales. Beautiful finish, loving the jiu-jitsu tonight. And 9 Pitbull thought it was more accurate with the right hand than Daniel Strauss was with the left. But Daniel Strauss moving forward a lot. But I thought Pitbull more effective. He has a great guillotine. You see Daniel Strauss, his hand on the hips. Trying to keep Pitbull from pulling guard and really cranking on that guillotine. There he goes. Goes for it. This is how he beat Henry Corrales. It's over. Got him. He got it. And it was the guillotine right here. Arm in. And Strauss was trying to keep him from pulling guard. You see his hand on the hips. As soon as his hand went off the hips, Pitbull pulls guard. And this is all she wrote. Beautiful guillotine finish. There it is. Just like Henry Corrales. A similar position. Close to the fence. He has so much power in his arms in his upper body when he gets around the neck and puts those hips in it is good night he starts to get emotional here or both keep himself composed at the start of this fight chandler talked about the fact that we promoted as bad blood hyping the fight up he, he says bad blood in between blood he says there will be blood and it will be at the expense of patricio pitbull tonight but it's all business for michael chandler well when you look at this as a whole what does Michael Chandler have to win? His title is the one that's on the line. It's not Patricio's. Patricio is the guy, he's the lighter fighter. Michael Chandler is supposed to win this fight, but that is just easy to say and a lot harder to do. You watched MMA, right? A couple times. <laughs> <laughs> the unpredictable. Oh! Shot. Watch the shot, it goes right behind his ear. Boom! That happened Legal. to Cain Velasquez against Junior Dos Santos. Look at him go down. He sees the shot, misses, he starts to duck. 
Look at what he does. Nothing. All of a sudden, he wakes back up. And you could look and say, was he out? Was he out, exactly. It's hard to tell. But that shot definitely disrupts him, puts him down, and he is hurt. He misses with that follow-up shot, but he's right here. There's he's no not response. Defending. No response at, until the referee comes in and you see him come up. Because Michael doesn't move until that referee comes in and they come in and his movement is at the same time. To be debated, but let's not take away from the fact that Patricio Pitbull joins Ryan Bader as the first simultaneous two-division champion.